Imagine this, you are working as a data scientist with one of the best companies in the world in one of the best continent, continents to live in, that is Europe. Would you want to get into this kind of role? Hi everyone, my name is Manav. Welcome to another episode of Data Science and AI Weekly. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can transition into a data science and AI role in Europe. Let's get started. So first thing that you need to about need to know about getting into a data science a role in Europe is the good news is that the skill set sets remain the same. In a recent survey by Big Cloud, uh, which interviewed data scientists across countries in Europe, 70% of the data scientists said that they are currently using Python as the primary tool for data science. So that means if you are already learning Python, you are headed in the right direction. And the second set of skills, what they mentioned, data scientists mentioned, is they're using things like SQL uh, and other tools that data scientists use frequently. So from the skill set perspective, the good part is that if you have built these skills and if you're in the process of building that these skills, these skills are universal and they are as good as they are in India, as they are in Europe or Australia or US. That's the good part. So the skill set remain the same. The question is that how can you get into a data science role in Europe? Let's look at that. So there are three ways and each one of these three ways have their own pros and cons. So I'll be listing down these three ways one at a time. So the, let's look at the first and foremost way. The first and the easiest way is if you have a valid work visa for Europe. Right. If you do, chances of you applying for a job and getting shortlisted if you have the requisite skills are extremely high and chances of actually cracking jobs is extremely high. So this is the easiest way, but this requires you to have valid Europe, your work visa in Europe, which might not might or might not be the case with you. So if you don't have a valid work visa, cross off option one. Option B is the best way and the surest way to get a work visa in Europe, right? Europe is headquarters to a lot of lot of companies across industries. Europe, for example, is headquartered to Novartis, right? And a lot of companies in healthcare uh, sector. Europe ha has one of the biggest bases for a lot of uh, companies based out of Silicon Valley, which have their international headquarters in places like London, in places like Ireland, right? And, and in places like Luxembourg, for example, if you want to get a, a job uh, uh, in Europe, Amazon Luxembourg is a great job. Uh, it's a great role to start with. If you want a job in Europe, Facebook Ireland is a great place to start with. If you want a job in BFSI or financial services, you have tons of financial services companies based out of London where you can get a job in. So what is extremely important is that the path to get there, the path to get there is you start working in one of the these companies that have has a significant presence. It should have a significant presence. It should have at least 1000 employees based out of Europe and it should have a headquarter. It should have a good base in India. Let's take an example of Novartis. Novartis have thousands of people in India. You start with data analytics or data science team or advanced analytics teams of Novartis in India. You start interfacing most likely you'll start interfacing with Novartis team based out Switzerland or based out of uh, Ireland and over a period of time you make the transition to those geographies if the quality of work that you're doing is amazing and I have seen this happening way way often I've seen this happening for Novartis for ZS for McKinsey for BCG for Microsoft any top company that you can name this is the shortest way to get very competitive compensation and uh, get the role, uh, uh, role of your choice. So this is the second option. The pros are that there's almost 100% surety that you would be able to make that switch to one of to Europe. Uh, but the cons is that you need to crack some of these top companies and cracking these top companies in India also a lot of times is not very easy. Then what is the third option? Third option is getting started with an IT services company in India. Right. 
So IT services companies employ lakhs of people in India and most of these IT services companies are actually serving clients in Europe. And that's why if you are working with an IT services company in India, most likely you are serving clients based, uh, most likely you are serving clients either in the US or Europe. Choose a European client over a period of time, develop good reputation in that project, most likely you will be called on site, right? So this is the third, third way. The pros of this way is it's much, much easier to accomplish. The con says that the compensation might not be as competitive because as a lot of you would know IT services works on a labor arbitrage kind of model so there you there there is likely to be a little gap uh, in the compensation that you would expect uh, is great compensation for those countries versus what these companies these companies will offer in those countries so this is the third model easily doable but with a few compromises so all of these three are great ways the important thing for you to choose is which one would you think is easily achievable for you right and for any of these three methods especially the second and the third method it might not happen in three months six months it might take a year it might take two years right so what you should be doing this entire period however is you should be building great data science skills in india great uh, a great client relations with any client that you're working in india or serving based out of india as well so that is those are the three ways of getting a data science uh, job in europe i hope you like this uh, video and if you did leave a comment in the comment section and if you want me to cover any other geography that you would want to uh, move to let me know that i would be happy to cover cover that as a bonus uh, uh, tip the top five countries where you could possibly land a data science job in Europe are number one United Kingdom London is a big base number two is Germany has a lot of amazing um, uh, cities where good data science projects are based out of C is Switzerland D is uh, Ireland and fifth is Netherlands slash Luxembourg both are amazing uh, destinations thank you very much for watching this video I hope you loved it and See you in another episode of Data Science in AI Week.